Good evening. The law of truth was in his mouth. No dishonesty was found on his lips. He walked with me in integrity and peace and turned many away from evil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when there is no prey? Does a young lion cry from its den unless it sees something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire, yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you, for you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 
I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Well, people in the time of Jesus believed that the storm in the sea was caused by a demon, and uh, therefore the demon was working against human beings. That was their belief. Of course, we know a uh, storm in the sea is almost like uh, how we breathe. That's so important for the survival of the sea, the storm. Same as we breathe. That's it, how we compare it. So what's the role of Jesus here? Again, it was the breathing of the ocean, we can say, but still it was, causing, was going to cause damage to the human beings, the people there. And Jesus was able to change the situation for them. And that's going to be the same with us. Things happen in our life. Some of them, very naturally it happens. But that whatever happens naturally can cause a lot of damage to us. And when we ask God his help many a time, he uh, rebukes what's happening. Even if it is a natural thing, but still he takes control over that. And that's the key of this one. Things happen, whatever that may be, natural or unnatural or whatever it is, God is and in charge of all that. God can control things however he wants. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to be one with Christ. That the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who will lead his church with loving care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through word and deed for the sake of the world's salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted for their faith may be blessed with the courage and strength to follow the Lord in spite of hardship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that families in our faith community may be grounded in the love of Christ and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be shepherded by our compassionate God into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Brooks Hill, health and welfare for whom this mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, 
O glorious and blessed Virgin, Blessed are you, Lord God of full creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit the earth and work of human hands, till become for us the bread of life. Blessed, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of full creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of truth so that we may keep the Church's faith inviolate and her unity secure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Irenaeus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy alone, the fountiful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with, with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass descended, go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us kneel as we gather together to honor our mother and our perpetual help. We recall how she helped others. Her whole life was a lesson of love. Mother of perpetual help, today we face so many difficulties. Her picture tells so much about you. Reminds us to reach out and help those in need. Help us understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us. Mary, model of Christian love, we know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem. But with God's grace, we intend to do what we can. May we be true witnesses to the world. The love for one another really matters. May our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours, mother of perpetual help. Mary, you were a woman of steadfast faith. Your faith in Jesus never wavered. Model of all believers, pray to the Holy Spirit for us. Help us not only to accept all your son teaches us, but to put the teaching into practice. Mother of perpetual help, as a child, Jesus ran to you for comfort and reassurance. You did not see him as only a frail child. Moved by the Holy Spirit, you accepted Jesus as the Son of the Most High the long-awaited Messiah. Following your example of faith, help us recognize Jesus in those we meet, especially the poor and the lonely, the sick and the elderly. Keep us always mindful, dear Mother, that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to your loving Son. May his words live in our hearts, influence our lives, the lives of those we meet. Let us kneel as we continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our lives. You always gave God the first place in your life. Just as you pondered his word in your heart, help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing Him. Help us follow your example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills, when He wills it, as He wills it, because He wills it. Mother of Perpetual Help, your picture reminds us that we are to carry our cross as Jesus did. With courage He endured injustice, abandonment and betrayal, pain and suffering, even a criminal's death. Mary, we turn to you as our model in suffering and courage. You shared in your son's suffering and death. We do share in the cross of Christ, and someday, like you, we will share fully in his resurrection. Help us be patient in our suffering, to trust in the loving care of our Father in heaven. 
May those suffering sickness in mind or body experience your son's healing power. Help us follow his example and through him, with him, in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother of perpetual help, bless our families with your tender motherly love. May sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. Help all mothers and fathers love and cherish the children God has entrusted to them. May they always be models of a truly Christian life. Help all children that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage and family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes heavens of love and peace. So that justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity, her openness to the Holy Spirit and say, Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your joy and your peace, with your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with you to strengthen you, above you to protect you, before you to lead you, behind you to encourage you, within you to possess you totally. Through the prayers of our holy patrons and Alphonses, through the intercession of our mother of perpetual help, through the merits of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit Descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Your praises we sing, who reigns now with Christ our Redeemer and King. Thank you. 